Oh yeah. Enjoying a little boat at the vacation house. This is the lifestyle. Let's get to it. Been driving around. This boat just doesn't seem to uh, sound right to me. I don't know exactly. Nah, it just seems off. Man, it would be nice. Get a few uh, beauties on the back here, sunbathing. Hmm. Beautiful boat. Love this boat right here. A little uh, bathroom over there. I've never been into like a torture hot box, but I would imagine that's how it feels. You're sitting in a cramped little area with the stink everywhere and it's got to be hot in there blazing hot man talk about torture I think I'd hold it till the shoreline beautiful uh, boat here Buck did a uh, great job so Chandler he does great work what a nice boat we have here if you can see we got a lot of flooding over here by our vacation house whoo man look at that we are flooded deep over here Lisa didn't come up to the house here our cabin but today we need to get ready for deer hunting we need to prepare me and a few buddies got together we bought some land some perfect land right by the riverbed there and we're gonna hopefully prepare it a little bit maybe do a little food pot and uh probably just do a little uh tent camping and some drinking and uh make the area get ready so we can uh shoot the big ones all right got that beautiful boat loaded and I wish I owned one of these in real life. Sure would be fun. All right, I'm gonna back this into our garage, get everything locked up, head back home so I can get my equipment ready. All right, just driving back into my farmyard. Yeah, you guys notice I finally mowed a little bit around here. It took me long enough, I know, I know. All right, so I think I'm gonna go over here, and start uh, hooking up my trailer. All right, we'll leave that right there. Start getting all of our equipment out here. So I did end up picking up this little, the teeniest excavator ever. This thing is kind of nice, uh, very movable. Uh, you can just go everywhere with it and I think we got to clear out a few little trees and everything so and maybe just a little bit of uh, dirt work you notice I have good posture here it's an important thing when you're ri riding around today. make sure you have great posture thing goes kind of slow it's just uh, creeping along here uh, let's see yep plan on bringing this what who is this who what the heck? My buddy Jeremy forgot he decided not to bring his truck and his wife's Prius. I don't, I don't know why. It's a little strange. I mean, we we kind of agreed that we're gonna pull some of the equipment and everything. We gotta go over uh, fields and everything. Okay. You know, maybe, maybe the Prius got it in it. I don't know. I think it would have been a little uh, more smart to bring a truck, but okay. We'll load it up. All right, now I got to figure out what equipment exactly am I going to put on Jeremy's little uh, Prius here. I mean, what's the toll rating of a Prius? Who knows that? I don't. Uh, okay, so I need to bring the excavator. I'm thinking about maybe taking the duels off for the 4440 and bringing it just to pull the the little the, our new little plow we have oh i think we better take this a spread Ooh, forgot gotta make sure we pick up some seed 
That is important here. All right, got that thing loaded down. We are probably way over rate weight here. Let's see. Do we got a little front lift? Ooh. Are they? I, I don't think the tires are uh, touching in the front. We might have to back up the load a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jeremy probably should have brought the truck. All right, got to make sure I get my seed. We're going to plant some a little bit of seed, a little bit of probably soybeans, some young little soybeans. Some deer really eat it up. Got a bag of seed. I think I'll just uh, go ahead. Maybe I could put this in the back seat of the Prius. Yeah, we'll just put this in the back. Or maybe we could just uh, tie it to the top of uh, his uh, roof here. Get the second bag in over here. We'll just put this right in. There we go. Got uh, the two bags of seed, just one more fertilizer. Jeremy's wife is going to be so mad when he takes that car back. It's going to be filthy. I right, got this part. Oh, looks like my buddy Mark. Yeah, that that thing is probably going to clash with Jeremy's uh, Prius. It could probably park on top of Jeremy's Prius and not touch it. Shut this off here. All right, got that parked on the trailer. Got to save as much room as possible. Oh, man. His truck is giant. Look at that giant thing coming down the road. Yep. That is a beast. Man. Look at that beast. That's some big boy tires on that thing. Look at this goose deck. I'm surprised it's almost riding completely level. It's, it's got a little bit of a, let's say, a Carolina a squat on it, on the back. But, ooh, good looking trailer and truck. Man, we got all the pinnacles of the major brands here. We got the GMC Denali. We got the Super Duty Ford truck here. And we got the Prius. All the big shots of their companies are here, especially the Prius. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Be careful. Got to be careful with Gina's little doghouse. Of course, we're going to bring Gina. Can't really bring her when we're deer hunting, but now we can. So I'm going to pack this probably on a. Uh, Probably put this on Mark's uh, trailer here. All right, got my porta potty. My buddies over here were making fun of me. Said you don't need no porta potty. There's something about a porta tree. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know. Do you guys know what they're talking about? I, I don't know. So I was trying to figure out what tractor I really wanted to bring, and I just kept on going back to, why don't we just bring out the old Super M? Super M, I think, can get it done. Let's see if this old girl will start. There we go. Yep. There we go. Alright, now I just gotta go find all the stuff in the reed row. Come on, Super M. Get her up there. You can do it. Alright, now I need to go into the wee row. So I got a few of my old planters sitting here. They're stuck here in the wee row. So I got a little, uh, a little itty bitty row crop planter here. This teeny. I got this old international drill. Oh man. It's gonna be a fun haul over there to our a new little uh, ground we bought just for hunting. A little itty bitty acreage. We are off. Headed down the road, we'll probably stop by our little vacay house for a bit, and then headed over to our little new hunting ground. Whoa, that is one big truck there. Yep, that thing is sweet. Hopefully everything stays on the back. Look at this. Man, did we ever get a lot of rain lately. Ooh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, uh, 
we got a little bit of predicament. Don't think this is going to be any uh, problem for Mark over here in the truck, but yeah, we got a little bit of flooded road here. You can see it's not too bad. We don't know if the road is washed out. Oh, I think maybe we'll let Mark go across. I'm just, to be honest, I'm not even worried. I mean, how does the Prius, does the Prius break down? I know they have batteries in there. Do, are they gonna short out? I don't know. I, I think Jeremy probably should have brought his truck. Probably would have been easier for this day, but uh, let's just see. We'll watch uh, Mark make it across and see how he does. Yeah, this this road, we'll just take it nice and easy. Never know when there's a, uh, there's a washout of the road. I believe this is the path we gotta take. I'm not for sure. We have to go around a uh, field to get back into our area. All right, Jeremy was a little scared, so I decided I'm gonna do it for him. Look at that. Man, this, this thing is a work of art. Drives through the water like a dream. Yeah, this, this gives a little bit of pucker factor when you're doing this in a Prius. Little bit, yeah. Jeremy is going to be in the doghouse. I mean, it's it's going through the stubble. Don't think I would recommend doing this though. It hasn't uh, bottomed out yet though. Yeah, don't do this at home, folks. This this will definitely get you in trouble with the wifey or the girlfriend, or I guess uh, ruin your Prius. Either or. All right, now the question is, I gotta undo this chain here. All right. Open this sesame up. Oh yeah, this is a little muddy. This truck doesn't mind it whatsoever though. Yeah, no problem. Oh, got a little spin going. Oh, get through the mud. Uh, I, I think that Prius is done for. Oh yeah. Wow, can my Denali do it? Ooh, don't, don't, whatever you do, don't get showed up by the Prius. Ooh, wow, that's really deep. Ooh, I don't think I should have did that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, Jeremy. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to back this thing on up. I don't think it's gonna make it into... <laughs> we're gonna have to stay in the neighbor's field here. Uh, I guess. Let's get the Ford unhooked here and pull it on out. Alright, we all decided I think we're gonna try to uh, float across here. And we're gonna plant our... Uh, we're gonna try to put our tents down right over there on the other side into the sand bed and we'll sleep there for the night hopefully the river water doesn't come up because we will be have some wet britches that's for sure all right oh man i love sleeping in our tents here i think mark is the smartest one here he he put his tent right on the top of the hill here so if the riverbed floods, he's got the perfect area. I'm over here on the bottom, way down here. Uh, I got everything I need. This this tent is set up perfectly. Even brought my grill along. Yeah, I think we got probably too many fires. We probably should have coordinated the fires because we got, holy cow. We got five fires places going here. I don't think we needed that much. All right, I think it's time to turn in a little bit. We'll put out some of these fires here. Don't want these things uh, burning down our forest. That's part of the reason why we uh, bought this place. 
We'll keep this little, uh, this guy going here. Ooh, I hate having an old man bladder. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go over here into the wood lines. in the woods but uh, I think I'm gonna sleep with my shotgun by my side all right that bacon and eggs was good let's put this fire out here all right the only problem about sleeping on the other side of the riverbed over here is you gotta get your britches wet getting back over here there's not really a great way to do it other than uh, swimming across the dirty river here. There we go. Don't have to swim far, but it does get the britches a little uh, wet for the day. But I was thinking putting one tree stand right here and probably another one on the other side and then or maybe right here. So I can see way down the riverbed, so if I have to take a long, impossible shot, I can. And then the other guy can see down this riverbed, all the way down there. And I think that'll be good. I, I want to, so we can make good eye con. we can see each other and we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, crossing fields of fire or shooting each other. I want to cut down these tall trees here. Go cut that one down. Timber. One more little tree to cut down here. All right. All right. We will get these and pull these over here to the woods. Push them back into brushes there. Alright, I think that's about it for what we need for this JCB. Lower this down. Ooh. There we go. It's a kind of rocky ground here. Not the great for uh, growing, if you can see. Our disc there is uh, kind of bouncing around. I want to see if that old Denali before can pull this disc. We'll have to pin this all the way to the bottom and we'll still probably be pretty high up. <laughs> oh man, this thing is ripping with this. It's not even hardly uh, any problem whatsoever. I thought we'd at least have a hard time get it going. I just gotta try the Denali too. And I'll probably pull the axle right off of it. Gotta try the Denali now. Uh. Yep, it's a little bouncy, but it it's pulling it right through the stumps and all. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh probably a little bit way too quick. All right, got the seed bag out of the back of the Prius. Fill this thing up. A little bit of alfalfa seed. Hmm, that should be enough, to be honest. Here we go. Don't take us long. This is easy. Probably could have did this last night, but at least we got to spend a good night camping in the tent. Dear love them some soybeans. Old school two row planter here. Alright, got one of my deer stands right here. Oh man, looks like uh, I'm gonna have to cut down some of these branches here. That's almost perfect. I can stand up and see that whole area down there. Perfect area for a tree stand right there. I'll show you quickly where I put the other one. So the other one's on the other side right here. On the other side of our little uh, food plot here. Right over, uh, right here a big tree. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let Help me out. Smash that like button if you can. But uh, 
I'll catch you next time. Later, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Thought I forgot to fertilize my little food plot. Almost. Almost. Catch you next time.